Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm going to be cooking a barbecue chicken pizza. Let's do it. choice. I either throw this dough out because it's overproofed in whilst I was warming it up. It went over like two hours and it's gone all like holy and sticky. I either do that or I do what I just did, boiled it up again, give it a little bit of a knead, which is not what I want to do. Other than that, I do that or I throw the dough away. So I don't want to throw the dough away. I'm going to see if I can do something with it. And... This is like dodgy dough, last resort, throw or save. Is it worth saving it or is it worth just binning it? Sometimes I forget that I've got dough out and I uh, overproof it. I know, because I'm doing stuff. And uh, and then I have to solve it. I, I hate throwing dough away. I always think that such, it's such a waste to throw dough away. And if I feel that I can kind of get something from it. I mean, look, it's so bad, really bad. I still think, no, I'm gonna do it. Come on, let's let's see how far this dough can go. How badly can we treat this dough and see if we can get a pizza from it? Let's try again. Every time I do this and ball it up, it's getting firm. It's not so holy. So I'm going to keep going because I, I, you know, I really want to make a pizza out of this dough and I don't want to lose it into the, the bit. It's everything I shouldn't do, but I want to save the dough. So I'm sorry if this is triggering dough pros up there. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how far I can badly treat dough and see if I can make pizza with that. I get a good pizza. But I can safely say I've rolled that to. There's no going back now. I'm gonna do this. See, I've still got a hole coming there. That's all right then. Look, round, and it moves on the board. That's good. And these are quite heavy pieces as well, which probably doesn't help my situation right now, my dodgy dough. So let's go for it. Let's put heavy pieces of chicken on dodgy dough. It's block mozzarella cheese, and this dough ball was, it was 205 grams. We can do something with this, hopefully. Let's do it. Just waiting for the oven to cool down because it's gone a bit too hot again. And so it's... It's 452 right there. That's quite high for the centre of this oven. Um, and I've gone on low now to try and get the temperature down. It's going down. My peel, I always forget my pizza peel. Okay, it's on high now and I'm gonna put it in whilst it's still not sticking to my, 
my pizza, my um, thing, what do you call it? Wooden peel. Done. So, what do you think? Was it worth saving the dough and not throwing it? I totally think it was worth saving. Mmm. Barbecue chicken. I'm going to taste it now. Mmm, it's nice and crunchy. It's got a bit of a crunch to it. I think it was totally worth it. I got a really good colour on the base. It's got a heavy dollops of chicken on here. And that could have messed it up because it could have got stuck in the oven. But it didn't. Based on what I've got here, I never throw my dough away. I'm always going to give it a go. Even when it goes wrong, you can save it. Even when it's all holy and overproofed, if you haven't ever got into my situation where you have created a bad dough or you've overproofed it and you've got it really holy and it goes sticky, that's good. But if you ever do get into that situation, you know that it's okay. You don't need to throw your dough. It's even got a nice bubbles on the base. Yum. This is so tasty, by the way. The dough and everything is really lovely. I balled it up with all semolina and everything on it and flattened it out and then rolled it up and then did it twice just to see how far I could push this dough. I pushed it as far as I wanted to and it came out, I think, and did a good job. And this is a really delicious pizza. It's so tasty. It was a 60% hydration proof. I, I room proofed it for 24 hours and then I froze it and then I defrosted it in the airing cupboard. I accidentally left it in there for more time than I should have left it in there. So I'd say it was definitely two hours. Normally, as soon as it gets from defrost to room, I take it out. If you keep it at that room temperature for about two to three hours after you've done that, it does go, it goes sticky, it goes holy, it sort of changes structure. Cooked one three hours earlier from the same batch and it was nowhere near like the consistency of that. You can come back from that place and you can create a pizza, a good pizza and a, a, a bubbly pizza with a nice crust and it's really important that you know I don't want to throw dough away, put a lot of time into my dough, creating it, kneading it, making it and I don't want to just throw it because it's because I don't think it's going to work, it will. And you will get a pizza that's with everything falling off. Like this. Very nice. Well, I hope you found this video useful. 
things don't always go to plan and when they don't I like to show it because I learn from my mistakes and sometimes and as you can see I've made quite a few but I've learned to solve them come back from them and still make pizza that I'm happy with so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thank you for watching take care and I'll see you soon bye